Um, let's go ahead and move on over to uh, since we, since we don't have the ghost of Mesa, since we have Mesa Incarnate. Um, mm. Let's talk about Days what? Gone. Wait, oh, yay! <laughs> Uh, ben Studios has announced that the PlayStation 4 exclusive will be making its way to PC this spring via Steam and the Epic Game Store. This is the second big PlayStation exclusive to make its way to PC store for us, with the first being Guerrilla Games' uh, Horizon Zero Dawn. Uh, Days Gone is set to support unlocked frame rates, ultra-wide monitor support, improved graphical detail, field of view options, and foliage draw distances. Uh, PlayStation CEO Jim Ryan the guy we mentioned earlier, uh, stated that a plethora of first-party Sony titles will be making their way to PC, and that Days Gone marks the start of this con... Not con-, con- yeah, I can't talk! Of this concerted initiative. Okay. Uh, Ryan went forth in a, in a series of interviews to say that Horizon 2 Forbidden West will be releasing this year. Um, right. Anything so- that allows more Russian gamers to play that game, because they'll appreciate it way more than any Western person can. <laughs> I, th- I think we talked about it like, at the top of the show, but yeah, I think Days Gone. Fuck, I'm still struggling to talk about it. It's not great. It's not bad. It's not good. It is like the perfect amalgamation of an video open game. world triple A ass triple A video game. And like, yeah, because there's uh, uh, like at face value, there's nothing special about mm-hmm. it, but it just works. Like it's, it's, it's just a, it's it's a fine. good time. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. It's the game. It's the game that they're playing on TV. And I think um, uh, to go into the PC angle for this, I think it makes sense for Sony to bring this stuff after the fact because, as with any game, the overwhelming majority of sales are made at launch within that first two week window. And obviously, Steam has proven that uh, discounted sales can lead to games kind of resurging. And then, oh, yeah. of course, of course, there's also going to be outlier cases like fucking Among Us blown up out of fucking nowhere. But typically. The majority of sales are within that first two week window. So it's mm-hmm. at no loss to them whatsoever on a business side to release these on PC because they've already made the sales. Um, they don't need to worry about having those exclusive in order to draw people to that hardware because that job's already been done. Mm-hmm. And at the end of the day, it's um, the Horizon Zero Dawn port was not great at launch and it was kind of left in a kind of poor state. Apparently it's good now. At least that's what Dio um was telling me a while ago. I believe, uh, it, I, what's the studio name now? Is it Koji Pro again? Or it, it that studio helped them put it together, I believe, or mm-hmm. fix it up rather. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. They're both using the same engine, so but, yeah. um, yeah, ultimately, yeah. I think it's, it's it's basically just a net benefit for for people on PC. Like, I'll if, if it's on sale, I might wind up grabbing it again just because it's gonna run better, it's gonna play better on there. Um, yeah, I have. I don't know why anyone would have an issue with it, but I, th- I think it's ultimately a, g- a good thing. And I, I, I don't think they're going to go like day one whatsoever, like how Xbox is doing it. But it's good for mm-hmm. people that don't want to buy a Sony console or they just want to double dip. Yeah. I'll definitely get it at some point. Um, mm-hmm. It's a game I'm, that does not end. I'm I, a fan of zombie mm-hmm. stuff in general, for better and for worse. For good and for schlock. Um, so I'll check it out at some point. Uh, excuse been, me, like, they're not zombies, dude. they're freakers. God. Oh, hush. Totally different. Yeah. I swear. Hope you like, I hope you like um, Darth Maul, uh, Star Killer from The Force Unleashed, or the the white supremacist Richard Richard Spencer uh, analog from Supergirl, because um, <laughs> he's great in it. He's uh, in Supergirl as a Richard yeah. Spencer analog. Yeah. No, because I like that actor. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, it's, it's I actually so like that actor. Holy I've watched shit. way too much Supergirl Ooh, I because do too. I like trash. Oh, don't get me started on liking trash. I've been watching uh, High Rise Invasion, and it's oh, it's bad. Can't stop watching it though. Star <laughs> Star Star Killer is like my favorite extended universe Star Wars character, and that you game is know. another He's capital ch- F fine game. That's it's, I love it. Eh, love it. Eh. It, it's a little repetitive. It's a little repetitive. It's a little repetitive. I do. The yeah. level where the you story is fine. And it's I, I the story like, is fine. I do like. I do like the the, the 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 force analog of of the dark side game being this you know 
wannabe character action like hack and slash game and the and the light side is this wannabe dark so slow methodical game i like that um dichotomy i think that's fun um going back to one point i guess i kind of went over a little bit um can we talk about how fucking ridiculous it is ridiculous uh, f- first of all fuck console wars fuck anyone that participates um I, I don't care about that shit whatsoever um i think it's ridiculous for people to be mad that other people have a chance to play a game that they like like this yeah does not impact yeah, you in the slightest that's mm-hmm. utterly like seriously when they when they announced that kingdom hearts was like coming to a pc i was fucking ecstatic because i have so many friends who would wanting to play that series who don't have consoles and i'm like finally (laughs) it's like i was saying before when i was joking about the avengers thing it's like you should you people have a right to be upset about that issue specifically like basically because they were told it's only going to be on this and then haha no it's going to be on everything but the but the person you should focus your anger on is not the people who now get to play this game because then you're just playing into the same bullshit that you were already playing into you're already saying oh the companies it's not their fault it's they're bad because now other people can play my special game that I bought because I'm special. The fact mm-hmm. of it is, no, you should be mad that the companies tricked you, like they keep tricking you into buying something, thinking, spending more money on something, maybe instead of waiting or instead of like getting something on a console you're more familiar with because of that. I can maybe, I, I can see that to a certain degree where if uh, you buy into hardware with like the promise, like this is the only place that you can play it, so you're going to have to buy this hardware and then whatever exactly. duration it, it comes out and it's just not the case but i, I can yeah. see that to an extent um mesa bef- before we we cap off on days gone uh do can we have an appreciation thread right here of uh boozer and our boy boozer? schizo boozer and there's schizo. no there's no, hey it's <laughs> hey it's a schizo's over party all right no one talk we don't care about schizo all right it's he, all he, about the booze man he, even right? by even by the name of schizo you're like this guy's a piece of shit and he he, you gotta, like, he there's characters that you called schizo it, it, that that's what makes you, it worse i mean is there everything about him is there uh, is there any is there any character in that game that's not eventually a piece of shit because I've heard that everyone's kind of just terrible. Yeah. Do dogs count? Yes. I mean... The dog is pretty okay. Boozer's okay. good. Come on. Boozer's good. They, no, no, they, had, what they had some stuff in the past. Okay, and I was, I was, I think I was talking past. about this before we started the game. But They're a biker started, started gang. The, the conversation tonight, the COD podcast. But I, from what I had heard is that there are story elements that seem as though they were going to be like maybe different paths you could go down, like choices you could make, that in the final release of the game, you end up just going down a strict, not a strict, a strict narrative. It's it's a planned out narrative. And some things seem almost like they don't line up with the way things were going earlier in the game, as if maybe you were going to be able to, like, be a different kind of deacon at, a mm-hmm. t- at, a, at some point in development. That is just something I've heard described. I don't know because I haven't played the game myself. But I'm excited to experience that because I like finding yeah. shit like that in games. Also, the, also, yeah, that game is weird. It, like, it has everything e- in it. Even like a, if what feels like a DLC expansion, it has inside of it. That game is humongous. Mm-hmm. I I would highly recommend Days Gone to anyone that basically likes uh, zombie games or like open world, just because it like hits every single check mark for both of those mm-hmm. uh, genres. Um, maybe cash it on a sale. I think I got it for twenty bucks. Like, not even a year after isn't it came it, out. It goes on sale. Isn't it, isn't it a part of the uh, PlayStation Plus Gold? It is. So you can so if, if you buy you, a, if you have if you buy a PS Five, if, if you, you buy a PS Five, you have it. Yeah. Oh, shit, I didn't know that. Yeah, go for so, it. And there's no time on that, right? Those are just games that they're going to be. I believe away. there's yeah. not. I believe there's not time on that. No. Yeah, yeah. I don't think it's time. I. Uh, I'll be real. Sony when I get a PS Five like, someday, that's going to be the time I actually play persona 5 or because i don't care otherwise i like the gameplay of that game yeah, and, uh, wait 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 blaine S- small correction on that please play the royal version yeah it is so much better money. yes uh, i'm probably not gonna uh, yeah, but, but, uh, royal, I would, royal's very weirdly not a part of that collection i, I would say it's um your, your time is more valuable in that scenario and those games are very long <laughs> Here, Jose, I, let's put I, it this way. I, I, I'm not playing I, this game because I think I'm going to. Enjoy. <laughs> I know I, that there's gameplay elements that are better, but 
I I will literally pay for you to play Royal instead of the base oh version. God. It's okay, funny. Someday, oh, it's... someday you can buy me a copy, all right? My hold, birthday hold is on like January that. 9th next year if you want. Maybe. Maybe so, I'll let um, you buy it for me. So when I so when so when Persona Five first came out, I had a I, had, I bought a I had a U, old PS3, and so I actually rented Persona Five from GameFly, and I basically treated it as like a reverse job. So the longer I took in the game, the more money I lost. So I had to play it relatively quickly. Oh no! Uh, um, uh, I mean, that's, yeah, that's like, like that's like, like a. Bare like minimum of like a hundred hours, like even if yeah, I'm just like trying to mainline first, it. My first playthrough took literally a hundred and nine hours, and I yeah. almost failed one of my finals in college. <laughs> my, because my, my thirty-five hours in all I did. doesn't seem like that much right now. That's yeah, all um, I did. <laughs> yeah, like, but like, yeah, because I've also been playing um SMT three Nocturne on the side. So I was I played that first and then played Persona Five and I was like, oh yeah, this is pretty fun. And then when you gave me the the Vita for Persona Four and I tried that for the first time, I was like, oh, this isn't <laughs> this isn't that. <laughs> does, does SMT have anything to do with Shin Megami Tensei? By the way, uh, no, it has more to do with um, <laughs> what's it called again? I messed up. I messed up. Oh. So you couldn't do it twice. Uh, Pokemon Mirage Sessions, got it. Damn it. Uh, <laughs> Thanks for uh, calling me out on that, Blaine. <laughs> uh, Genki Ibon Roku Sharp Fe, yeah. Um, uh, I actually see. do want to play the SMT games because I've heard those are unanimously those are just good games. Nocturne is hella good. I want to get that Switch port the, that comes out. Yeah, the Switch port comes out in June? June or May? Yeah, since, yeah it sounds like they've really fit. They've really uh, fixed a lot of those issues that was in the Japanese release. And Dante's so, going to be DLC, yeah. right? Uh, Dante's you know, DLC, I, I believe. Yeah. So yeah. yeah, I'll be getting yeah, <laughs> featuring Dante yeah. from the Devil May Cry series. It's the um because yeah normally it's Raido Kuzanoha, and then they and then he and um I forget his name partnered, so that um in. In DMC two, uh, the guy who designs um, uh, SMT designed the devil triggers, in, a, in oh, DMC two, cool. yeah, Man, in DMC the worst one. Designs were actually pretty cool. It sucks that that game's. I wish, I wish the game was good. It's not even yeah. that. Oh man, that's a, that's a whole long ass conversation we could have. 